Good morning everyone. Today we are here to understand a little more about sound. There is no better place than the music room to understand sound and that's why today we are here. I've taken three types of instruments for the sample. This is the one harmonium, all of us know and it is wind based instrument because there is an air column between this. This is fluid, this is also there are holes at the different places. These holes will also ensure the different kind of kinds of notes produced into the air column. Then we have this is membrane based, percussion based instrument in which that membrane will be beaten up. Then we have guitar. This guitar has a string into it and then there are different kind of strings into it. The thickness of the wire used in this guitar are different. You see that this is the thinnest wire and when I pluck it, a sound is generated. This is thickest wire. I hope you have noticed the kinds of sounds produced in both the wires. When I plug the thinnest wire, it is comparatively the sharp and the shrill voice because the frequency of this wire is very high. Here, this is a thick wire. The sound produced is blunt because it has comparatively a lower frequency. Frequency means number of vibrations, number of oscillations in a second. Means how many times it will vibrate from its mean position. And all of us know somebody who is thick or hefty will not be able to move very easily. And same thing is happening here. You can relate it very easily that this is thin. Due to thinness, it will be able to vibrate very frequently and the frequency will be higher. But in this case, this is thick and that's why it will not be able to move very easily and the frequency of the vibration will be low. Second thing, second thing is the amplitude. Amplitude means that it is the main position of the wire. It will not go anywhere until or unless we pluck it, we change it. But when we are plucking, we are pulling it from its mean position. This displacement till where we are shifting it will be called amplitude. And that will ensure the loudness of the sound. Let's check this. So if I pluck it very gently, I pluck it loudly, more vibrantly. I hope you would have noticed the amplitude. Again, I'm doing it with the thin wire. Any wire. So, how much we are displacing the wire from the main position will ensure the amplitude. If it displace more, the amplitude will be more and the loudness will be more. Next is that if you plug it here, 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 here. Different kinds of notes of music, sa, re, gamma are generated. Then we have another wind based instrument. This is flute, commonly called flute. Here, when we blow the air through this hole, we press, close the different holes here and allow air to come out from a particular part. Due to this, the length of the air column from which the air is entering and from which the air is coming out will be changing. Like if this hole is opened, the column length will be this much. If this hole is open, the length will increase and this length will increase, this length will ensure that the different kinds of notes are produced. Here also, in this case, this is print filled into it. So when we press the different keys on this, the vibrations of the sound generated here will be propagated here and to the, from there they will spread into the air. One more thing I forgot to tell that this wire will not be able to produce a sound louder enough. That is why this box is attached to this instrument so that the sound which is generated with the help of these wires vibrations can amplify 
and can go louder so this box is also helping to amplify the signals thank you so much